Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know I'm All City with AllCityLiveTV.com, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about the Offensive Oriented 4, the OOF build. This is my new build, which I think is going to hold up to the patch, but first, we finna go and get our vote in. I don't know who you guys are voting for. I'm happy we got the new courts, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second, but I wanted to make sure that I got my vote in. Let me know in the comment section who you voted for, and you about to see who I'm gonna vote for right now. From what I understand so far, Mo Buckets is leading the polls. And I gotta tell you, man, I don't think I'm gonna be going with Mo Buckets. Mo Buckets leading at 49%, Trey Riggs at 50%, Hollywood at only 3%. I saw the debate and I thought Hollywood did way better than to only have 3%, but for what I understand in his own admission, he's not doing too great as far as creating content so maybe he fell a little behind because he's not as popular as some of the other people up here as candidates so she's a holy got 34 percent and i'm thinking i want to lean towards cheese although it looks like mo buckets is actually gonna win the event i'm thinking i'm gonna lean toward cheese one because i see cheese out there although i have uh, a good amount of friends that are playing the game and have run into mo buckets so mo buckets is definitely out there too i don't think mo buckets did anything wrong as far as being mayor but when i think about cheeseaholic becoming mayor although i don't and i don't really feel like i want somebody <laughs> like just this young buck as the mayor but one thing about cheeseaholic is he's finna make it lit one thing that you know is going to happen with cheeseaholic as mayor is that he is gonna light up the beast of the east bring a whole new type of vibe to beast of the east so in my opinion i'm gonna go with cheeseaholic we have mo buckets i'm gonna go with cheeseaholic and that's who we finna vote for let me know in the comment section who you voting for out there so let's get right into this build man because the offensive oriented for one of the most rare bills that you guys are gonna see on nba 2k 21 for next gen now i created this build on live stream and we took him right out and he is an absolute demon and i'm not just talking or capping you guys were able to see it. everybody who participated in our live stream our live stream was lit you guys were able to see what this bill could do with no badges as you guys know i like to create bills on live stream and also bring the build out so that everybody could see what the build is actually capable of and on the first game i brought this offensive oriented four out we played the rec center he had 35 points with nine steals he's an offensive oriented four but he's a defensive demon out there and that's exactly what we wanted to create let's get right into the stats all right yeah so i'm super excited to introduce how i made this build with you guys the collective effort of our members in discord if you guys need help with your builds need help with your badge layout consider joining us on discord we would love to have you guys join our family we got a great group of players over 3,500 players within our discord and we would love for you to become a part of our family the link for discord is going to be in the description below Just click the link join our family we would love to have you all right let's get into it 10 12 23 and 24 is the badge count he's gonna have a 95 driving dunk so you know you're gonna be catching bodies out there when i brought him out i caught a body already with zero badges so definitely a player that you want to consider for driving and as far as three points shooting he was shooting lights out with zero badges out there shooting like seven or eight for a ten from three with no deep threes on no shooting badges imagine shooting like that with no shooting badges now the ball handle you get pro dribble moves off rip so you know that's a good build any build that gets you pro dribble moves off rip is definitely going to work in your favor now where he really shines although his name is labeled an offensive oriented four he actually is a defensive demon i made the build to play perimeter lockdown defense he has a double lock 
takeover. He has a 95 perimeter defense, 95 steal. That's where he really shines is in his perimeter defense. Speed at an 85, acceleration at an 81. Now what I want to talk about most of all is the wingspan because I made a build at 6'6", small forward for, to be a perimeter defender, but unfortunately when I maxed out the wingspan, I wasn't getting the intercept animations that I felt I was due. I was getting these weird animations where he'll just kind of grasp at thin air and he wasn't getting in the passing lanes like I wanted to. This is the build that I created prior to this one here. So I hit my man Tanner up, one of our members in Discord, one of our city legends in Discord. Everybody that we play with knows that Tanner is a defensive demon. And I say, hey Tanner, what wingspan did you choose? Did you max out your wingspan? Because popular opinion says when you're creating a defensive build, especially a build like a perimeter type of lockdown, you should max your wingspan. And I say, I beg to differ because I imagine Tanner is not gonna max out his wingspan. I hit up Tanner. Everybody knows that Tanner is out there all over in everything in the passing lanes, getting a ton of steals every game. Tanner, what's your wingspan? Did you max it out? Negative, coach. I did not max out my wingspan. My wingspan is at a 7-1. So we took the risk and we said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna check. As you guys can see, my wingspan is a 7-1. I'm a 6-7 power forward. I put my wingspan to 7-1, brought him out there with zero badges, although my small forward had Hall of Fame badges, badged out, intercept the Hall of Fame, pickpocket Hall of Fame, everything Hall of Fame on defense and he wasn't getting steal animations. I brought this player out with zero badges and in my first game, I got nine steals. The most steals that I ever got in any game with any player. So what is this, wingspan glitched? Should you guys be maxing your wingspan? Now, in my opinion, if you're playing interior defense, then you may want to consider maxing out your wingspan. But if you're going for perimeter lockdown, when I brought this player out, he was getting, you know how when you're in a game and you're like, give me that. Or you're like, you know you got the steal. You know you should get the pluck, poke the ball loose or something like that. And it doesn't happen how frustrating that is. Well, when I brought this player out, I was getting everything that I wanted. When I say everything, I mean when you're in those passing lanes and you know that you're due for that intercept pass because you're right in the passing lane. That's what I was getting. Give me that. Turn the ball over and go ahead and get that, that fast break, those easy fast break points because that's what this build was getting. So I feel like max wingspan is somewhat glitch. If you guys are out there and you got a max wingspan build and you're not getting the steal animations or intercept animations that you feel that you're due, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you because I feel like it has something to do with your wingspan. It's somewhat glitch and makes you go into goofy intercept animations when you max it out trying to play perimeter defense because when I brought this player out he was in the passing lanes getting like those poke balls getting the intercept passes he was getting everything that i wanted everything the reason why i made the build was to be a passing lane type of player a perimeter lockdown again i repeat this build has a double lock let's get into the gameplay so i can show you guys exactly what i experienced with this new build zero badges out there as i like to do we make bills on live stream and then show you guys what they're about on live stream and in today's video we're trying to show you guys a build that i believe is gonna hold up way past the new patch that's coming very soon a build you might want to consider making let's get into it all right guys so now i'm gonna play off some clips in the background so you guys can see how the offensive oriented four plays in the rec center the oof build a complete knockdown shooter nothing but greens out there he's able to steal the rock you can see he's a defensive demon elite defender and he's shooting from range extended areas out there with zero badges he could also drive in the paint catching alley-oops he absolutely does everything and i wanted to showcase this with these clips in the background because i think i made a good decision by working with this build again the collective effort efforts from my members in Discord, the collective efforts from our YouTube viewers on our live stream. If you 
guys want to join Discord, the link for Discord is going to be in the description below. Come out, join our live stream as well. We would love to have you so you can see how this offensive oriented four actually continues to develop. Getting in those passing lanes is a build that you want out there. It's a point guard's nightmare. If you're running point out there, you don't want to come across a build like this that's a defensive nuisance out there and able to knock down shots as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please consider dropping a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we're going to have a ton of next gen content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all. Huh?